Horston Castle, also known as Horsley Castle, is about one mile to the south of the village of Horsley, some five miles north of Derby. Early forms of a name relating to the castle are Hairstain, Hairstone, Horstan and Horstone. The change to Horsley Castle is late, although there is one document of 1373 which refers to John de Castel de Horsel. Originally, the land had been owned by a famed Thorgar of Hosley, but after the Normans arrived, it was given to Ralph de Buron, who was given several manors as a reward for either fighting alongside William the Conqueror, the Battle of Hastings, or arriving shortly after with the invasion. In a survey of England in the 20th year of William the Conqueror's reign, Ralph held manors of Oskintoon, Callan, Hoshale, Ramstoon, Lamacott, and Cockgrave, all in Nottingham and Westoon, Horsled, Denneby, Hallen and Hedeby, all in Derby. At Horsled, now Horsley, Ralph built a Mott and Bailey castle called I Lorstan, which means White Stone. As a Norman name, the Burons claim descent from Buron near Mont in Normandy, where the family lived prior to coming to England with the Norman invasion. This was common among the Normans who came to reside in England to use the name of their place of origin. The name literally means descendant of Byron or from the cottage. Also, founders of a lineage of the Lord Byrons in England, one of whom was the poet Lord Byron. Hugh de Buron was the Baron of Horston who, in the reign of Henry II, retired from all secular affairs, professed himself a monk, and held the Hermitage of Cassale belonging to the Priory of Lenton, as appears by a deed of King John confirming that hermitage to the said Priory. A castle is first mentioned here in the reign of Stephen. Constables, keepers or custodians of a castle can be traced from the time of Stephen until 1540 and beyond. In the 13th century, King John built a stone castle adding a keep, a chapel, a gatehouse and a barbican. And details of work carried out survive. For example, expensive repairs to the fence, bridge, buildings, gate and hall were carried out in 1246, while the following year there were repairs to the barbican buildings and gutters and a chaplain was provided to celebrate divine service in the castle chapel. Robert de Buren was possessed of a castle in 1200, however he was involved in rebellion against the king and his whole barony was granted to William de Brewer and not long after reverted to the crown. In 1214 William de Ferrers, Earl of Derby, was appointed governor. In 1250 Peter de Montfort was given the role. In 1255, Hugh Dispenser was also custodian. And in 1274, Walter de Stokely was made keeper of Horston Castle and of the Soak of Horsley. In 1291, Ralph Pippard was made governor for life. In 1298, Jordan Folio dies seized at Horston Castle, which had been granted to his father Richard. In 1314, Sir Ralph Shirley was governor. And in 1347, King Edward III granted it in tail mail, an entailed interest under which only male descendants of the original tenant can succeed to the land, to Henry Plantagenet, afterwards Duke of Lancaster, and Henry II. In 1391, John de Holland, afterwards the Earl of Huntington, had a grant for life. And in 1452, King Henry VI granted a castle to Edmund Haddam, Earl of Richmond, and Jasper, Earl of Pembroke. In 1514 he was granted by Henry VIII to the Duke of Norfolk as a reward for services against the Scots at the Battle of Flodden Field. References to the castle are few after the 1470s and it is possible that around this time the manors of Horston and Horsley became one unit. In 1568 Thomas Hanno Stanhope held the castle. From him it descended to the Earls of Chesterfield and it may have gone out of use before the Civil War. 1760 it was finally destroyed when much of a dressed stone was apparently taken for the rebuilding of Kedleston Hall. And in 1817 the manor and estate, including the castle, was sold by the Earl of Chesterfield to the Sitwell family. The castle is ruined today, damaged by extensive quarrying. There are visible remains of the keep, although this is now largely overgrown, with the only substantial remains being of the keep itself which is defended by wide, deep ditches to the north and east. Built into a boss of rock which stands against the steep banks of the Bottle Brook, the most prominent features are a fragment of wall with a sloping plinth 
and the remains of an angle tower with a square mural chamber. The site has a dense cover of trees and is best viewed in winter. Three miles northwest is Duffield Castle and three miles southeast is the mound on Morley Moor. The site is a scheduled ancient monument but as of 2018 is on Historic England's Heritage at Risk Register as it is in poor condition.